<laughs> so awkward doing the intro in front of people. <laughs> Yo. Is this going on YouTube? No, yeah. <laughs> Yo guys, what is going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to another video. I haven't done a video like this in a while, guys, but last Sunday, we all went up to Targarth Mental Asylum. I've done a video here before, guys. Tons of YouTubers have been here. Like, it's a very, very, very popular place. So I thought I'd take three friends up to this mental asylum. Now, it's all good. This mental asylum is, like, huge. It's, it's, you, every time you go, you find new places. Every time you go, you find new areas of the building that you never explored last time. You could spend hours in this building. I just want to make this quick intro just to explain what actually happened in this mental asylum. So we arrived at the mental asylum. It's pretty early when we arrived. It's about 10, 11 o'clock guys. I thought, you know what, it, it's going to be a good time to go. It was Sunday. It wasn't that busy. So when we went guys, we went in and got into a part of the building and started looking around because there's two different buildings. There's the outside building, which is a newer version of the building. Well, a newer build of the building. And then there's the older building the main building. We went into the newer version of the building, had a look around, we spent about half hour there and it was all good, all fine, nothing happened, all, it was perfect. Then we left and went into the main building guys and we went in, we was in there for about four hours guys, like complete four hours, we were totally fine, we was totally all cool in there. We walked around, we explored, we done everything that we needed to do guys and then about half hour before we was planning on leaving because we had one more little bit of the building to check out, then we was going to get out of there and get home. But before we had had the chance to fully fully get out of there we encountered some problems so i'm not going to explain everything i'm going to explain everything while this video rolls guys so enjoy this bit of the video the intro of the video and then i'll get to what actually happened with some guy who decided to full on frighten us and decided to full on basically he frightened us with a gun guys so just enjoy this bit of the video then we'll get to the main bit Well, you find me Scooby Doo, babe. What did you get from my bird? It's dark now, I'm really fucking scared, but I'm really quite busy waiting to see what it's called. Thank you, Dee. So they wanted to climb through the little tunnel gap thing for the pipes, but nah, hell nah, no thanks. So this building we're having trouble getting into. This building we just come out of. It's just started raining. But I think the snow mixed in with it as well, which is bad. Because we have to drive home. But I guess it's worth it. Oh, this is pretty impressive. Oh, mate, there's an old left by you. There's an old left. Obviously, guys, I've been here before, and loads of people come here on a daily basis, pretty much. Old bath, some old cupboard or something over there, but it's still wallpapered. No, it says patient suitcases. Guys, so my main objective is to find the tunnels. There are tunnels around here somewhere. And that's my main goal, is to find them tunnels. Thank God it's not like Resident Evil, and there's like 1994, 98.
as you can see guys, we spent a good couple of hours in these buildings, we explored. I know, I, I wasn't recording that much, I wasn't planning on fully making a full video on this, I just- So once we spent a good couple of hours in there guys, we done what we had to do and we get ready to get out of there. Then, this happened. Guys, we're gonna call it a day there, like, there is- we've pretty much done everything. Who is he? <laughs> Don't argue with him. Well, he, he has, you shocked in our ass. Dan, don't go towards him. <laughs> it's not this way, it's not this way. We gotta go back in. Huh? Where are we going? Which way are we going out? This way, go that way. This way. Just keep it on. Yeah. So as you can see, like we was all walking. I stopped recording. Justin, I was doing my outro, getting ready to leave, and I didn't even get to complete my outro, guys. Before we knew it, guys, we heard someone just start screaming at us, and we was like, "Whoa, what the hell is going on?" That's all we could do was this really old man screaming at us, and we thought the first thing that came to my mind, guys, was, "Oh my God, these spirits are like that powerful in this building that we can hear them physically." <laughs> But it, it wasn't, unfortunately, it was probably worse than spirits, guys. We was like, okay, maybe it's the police. Maybe the police have pulled up, someone's reported us, the police have pulled up, and y here we go. So we was all like, okay, what's going on? So we carried on walking, we just ignored the person who was shouting at us, and we carried on walking to get out of the place. So as we was carrying on walking, we came to a bit where you can see out into the main road. So we started walking, and then when we got to the bit which we could see out to the main road, we seen a white van, and we thought, okay, it's a security guard. When we actually got to, to the gate, so we could see who it was. The guy was physically screaming at us and he said he's threatening to send his dogs and if he said if we don't get out, you can hear him in the video, he said if we don't get out then he's gonna send his dogs in to chase us, you know, bite us and all this kind of stuff. Now I've, I've seen videos of this guy, I've done some research, I know who this guy is. Now this guy has two sheep dogs. Now, I don't know whether them dogs would have actually came in to hurt us or whether he, he was just using it to verbally abuse us, threaten us, intimidate us. I'm not scared of dogs. We left, we, we let, went through left the building, jumped out of the door, and he was gone. He, he, he disappeared. So we started walking towards the car, then I seen two other people who were just outside taking pictures. We stopped them. I kind of told them who the guy was and just be aware that he is frightening people if we enter the building. So we've encountered the man with the white van. The guy's just letting know the sound down there is kicking right off with us being around here, so just in case. Uh, he, yeah, he, he, tries, he tries to intimidate everyone who comes up here. Yeah. He flashed, he flashed. I've always heard about it up here, and we've driven by. Oh, we've we've all, we've just stop and have a name. That's mean, I've, I've been up here twice though, and I've never seen him, and this is the first time seeing him. So. One well, of my mates has been up here, and he said there are a few people around here who get real funny when you've been up here. Yeah. So he just flashed his bike and said, Are you so scree you're so screaming at us? Yeah. I looked right and I saw someone walking through. I thought there were lots of people up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's coming, he's coming he's back, back up. <laughs> oh, go for Lily in the car. <laughs> Come on. I swear he's a mental person from the hospital. And if you're watching this, hi, yes, you did not intimidate me, but yeah. We started walking back, guys. He stopped his van and started screaming at us again and started shouting at us. And at this point, my boyfriend, we had his little sister with us. He also had me and he was trying to protect me and his little sister. When he was a little bit rowdy to him, which I did tell him, you know, just leave him be. He was given as much as that guy was given to us. When we got to the car, the old guy said, now I'm pretty sure you can hear in the video, but the old guy said to us, if you don't get off this land, I'm gonna go and get my guns and make you get off the land. And we was like, whoa, slow down a bit. Like we don't we don't wanna we don't want a gun more. This guy thinks he can control the place. It doesn't doesn't work. The police have even told him to stop doing it. He's just a local farmer. He doesn't have the permission to be on that land.
So yeah guys, like, that's my story of the guy with a white band from Talgarth Mental Asylum. And I'm doing this for you guys because I do want to go back there. Like, I love the place. The place is beautiful. I do want to go back there to get some more pictures. And I want to go back there in the night. Be aware guys, I will do a part two of this video because I'm going up there to see that guy and to see what he wants, guys. For you guys, because no one's actually stopped and spoke to him. We all just argue with him and we all just get annoyed with him and we don't actually ask him what's his problem. And I'm also gonna do a paranormal investigation there. If you guys do wanna see that, make sure that you are turning on your post notifications and hitting that subscribe button, guys. And I promise you, I will do one. And I'm also collabing with some awesome other urban exploring YouTubers, guys. So I cannot wait to give you them videos. And I will see you all in the next video. It's been your girl, and I'm Ari here. Peace.